In this exercise, we're going to be installing a read-only domain controller. We're going to be doing the work from Plab DM01, our domain member. Let's jump into that machine. I'm going to open PowerShell as administrator. I'm going to open the ISC this time. And let's go ahead and to our commands. All right, so our Active Directory binaries are installed. Let's jump into Server Manager and promote this as a domain controller. Let's go ahead and select Read-Only Domain Controller. Click Next. From RODC Options, click Select. And we're going to designate Jan Regis as our administrator. Go ahead and click Next. Next. We'll leave the defaults here. Next. Next. And install. The installation is completed and the server is going to restart. Let's go ahead and reconnect to PlabDM01. In Server Manager, let's open up Aduct. Let's expand Practice Labs and go down to domain controllers there you have it plab dm01 is a read-only domain controller in this exercise we're going to configure password replication let's jump into our plab dc box Let's open up Aduct. Open up practicelabs.com. Go to the user's OU container. Click on Allow RODC Password Replication Group. Right mouse click. Properties. Click on Members. Verify there are none listed. Click OK. Let's go to the Domain Controllers OU. Select Plab DM01. Right mouse click. Properties. Select the Password Replication Policy. And verify that Allowed RODC Password Replication Group is there. And Denied RODC Password Replication Group is there. Then click OK. So our next exercise, we're going to configure a password replication group. Let's navigate over to the engineering OU. Right mouse click, select new group. We'll name this one remote engineering. and let's make sure the global and security options are selected and click OK. Next, right mouse click remote engineering group and select properties. Click on members then add. 
Let's add Jan Elizabeth. I must have made a typo. Let me take a space out. I did make a typo. I didn't use a semicolon. There we go. Click OK. And OK. Let's go back to the domain controller OU. Right mouse click on Plab DM01 and click on Properties, Password Replication Policy, Add, Allow Passwords for the Account to Replicate to this RODC. Okay. Let's add our Remote Engineering Group. You could just hit Enter instead of Check Names. And our Remote Engineering Group has been added. Go ahead and click apply and OK. For our next exercise we're gonna evaluate the resultant password retention policy. Let's jump back into our Plab DM box. Right mouse click on Plab DM01 and go to property. Click on Password Replication Policy, then Advanced, then Pre-Populate Passwords. Let's go ahead and add Jan. Let's click Resultant Policy tab, and we'll add Jan here as well. Okay, so we've now set up Jan Regis's password to, to be replicated through the domain. Go ahead and click close, click OK. We're going to go ahead and log off as admin and sign back on as Jan. We'll use other user. All right, so we're signed in as Jen. We could go ahead and sign out as Jen. Let's switch back over to our domain controller. Right mouse click Plab DM01. Actually, I have to uh, sign back into it. One second. And I'm back in as my administrator. Let's go back to domain controller. Right mouse click on Plab DM01 properties. From password replication, click on advanced. In, in the password usage, you will now see Jan Regis. Click on pre-populate passwords. We're going to add one of our users, Elizabeth. Yep, that's her. Click on close and OK. Let's jump into our Plab standalone server, Plab SA device. Let's open up PowerShell ISE. And set up an adapter.
looks like I might have made a syntax error. I'll go ahead and enter it again. Go ahead and enter the admin password. Perfect. We'll go ahead and restart this machine. Let's log back into Plab SA01. Open up PowerShell. And we'll go ahead and add a D domain services. All right, we've successfully added AD domain services. Next, we're gonna install the replica domain controller. Syntax error, I'll try. Go ahead and select yes to all. All right, the machine's rebooting. Let's jump back into Plab SA01. Go ahead and jump into a duct. Expand the domain, click on the domain controllers OU, and notice that Plab SA01 is now added. We are still working from our Plab SA box. Click and highlight on practicelabs.com, right mouse click, and select Operations Masters. So we're going to be transferring each of these domain roles, which is RID, PDC, and Infrastructure. With RID selected, click on Change. Click yes and OK. Click on PDC. Click change. Yes and OK. Then infrastructure. Click on change. Yes and OK. Go ahead and click close. Next we're going to transfer forest wide FISMO roles, schema and domain naming masters. We're going to do this work on Plab DM01. Let's jump into that box. Let's open a command prompt. From Council 1, go ahead and click on File and Add Snap-in. Select Active Directory Schema, Add. 
click OK. Right mouse click Active Directory Schema and select the first option which is to change the domain controller. Select the second option here, this domain controller. And actually I don't see PLAB SA01. I may have to reboot this machine. I'm going to go ahead and save this snap-in. That way I don't have to go looking for it again. All right, so I'll restart this machine. All right, jumping back into PLAB DM01, we'll open up our Active Directory schema snap in and continue. All right, perfect. So PLAB SA is now available. We'll go ahead and click OK and OK. Next, right mouse click on Active Directory Schema and choose Operations Master. Go ahead and click Change. And close. So the schema master has now been transferred to plabsa.practicelabs.com. Let's go to server manager, open up active directory domains and trusts. Right mouse click on active directory domains and trusts and select operations manager, master. Click on change. Yes, and OK, and close. So we just transferred the operations master role. So for this exercise, we're, we're back into our PLAB SA box. And we're going to go ahead and shut it down to, to simulate our C's FISMO role. Next, we'll jump back into our PLAB DC01 box, open a command prompt, and launch NTDS util utility. Right here is asking me if I'm sure that I want PLAB DC01 to seize the infrastructure master role, and I'm saying yes. All right, the infrastructure master role is seized. The next um, thing I'm going to do here is seize the PDC controller. PDC is seized. 
the next thing we're going to do is seize the rid master. Next, we're going to seize the schema master. And finally, we're seizing the naming master role. We can go ahead and quit out of NTDS util right now. Let's reopen a duct. Right click on practicelabs.com and select operations masters. Verify that RDC, PDC, and infrastructure master roles are now on PLAB DC01. Click close. Let's open Active Directory Domains and Trust. Right mouse click on Active Directory Domains and Trust. Select Operations Master. The domain name, naming master is now on PLAB DC01. Click close. Let's go back to Server Manager and open up Active Directory Sites and Services. Right mouse click on Sites and select new site. We'll call this one APAC. Select default IP site link, click OK, and click OK to create the site. Expand default first site name, servers, Right mouse click on PLAB SA01 and select Move. Select APAC and click OK. Now click on APAC and in the Details pane, select NTDS Site Settings, right mouse click and go to Properties. Select Universal Group Membership Caching check enable universal group membership caching and on the drop down we're going to refresh from cn default first site name then click ok be sure to like comment and subscribe to my video and thanks for watching